Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm looking at a new vacuum cleaner from Shark, the NV602 UK. The last cleaner I tried out was the Miele Triflex, which was great, but it's time to try something a little more affordable. How affordable? Well, the NV602 has a retail price of £249, but Shark have it on discount right now for £169 but I managed to pick it up brand new from Amazon for £129. At that price, I couldn't say no to buying it and trying it out. So the NV602 includes a number of features, including Shark's lift away technology, which allows you to remove the cleaner from the wheels, which helps clean stairs and furniture. It also has an anti-allergen seal, it's multi-use for carpets and hard floorings, LED lights to the front, it's got a pretty big container at 1.1 litres and it comes with a five year warranty as standard. This model does not include the anti-hair brush that Shark have on some of their more expensive models. The NV602 is your typical upright vacuum cleaner. It's mains powered, so it's not like your handheld battery operated cleaners like the Dyson V series. There will be no worries about trying to get the house clean with one battery charge. Working from the top down, you have the detachable handle that connects to the metallic blue shaft the handle also has a button for max or minimum suction, but more on that later. Connected to the handle is the tubing that connects to the dirt container. Moving on to the main body, you have a very old school red switch button that allows you to select either hard floor, carpet or off. There is also a large push button that detaches the main body from the wheelbase and another button that takes the dirt container away from the main body and then the container can be emptied from the bottom pretty easily. You will notice when you detach the container, there is a spongy foam filter in the base plus a thicker fabric filter too. These need to be removed regularly and shaken outside to remove the dust. The power cord is eight meters long. It's hardwired to the main body and also on the main body there is space at either side to secure the provided attachments. Lastly, the wheelbase. Two rubber wheels at the rear, two tiny wheels at the very front, and then the base swivels as well, so you can maneuver around corners. At the front, there is a total of six LED lights, and of course, the brush section as well. The LED lights are great. They really help pick up any dirt directly in front of the cleaner, so you know if you've picked it up or not. Using the cleaner is like any other, Turn it on with the red switch, either hard floor or carpet, and away you go. The only difference between the two is the speed rotation of the brush, and the speed is reduced considerably for hard floors. Then you have the option of max suction or minimum suction. And I believe the only difference here is opening and closing an air vent on the handle, thus reducing the suction as the vacuum seal is compromised. The difference between maximum and minimum suction is quite drastic in my opinion. Carpet and max suction, I actually struggled to move the cleaner at first. The suction is that strong. My wife tried it as well and she felt the same. You definitely need some muscle there to push it back and forth for 20 to 30 minutes. Drop it down to the minimum suction and it resembled other cleaners I've had in the past and was far easier to move. The wheels work well, as does the swivel motion and it's easy to move around furniture and get under the first part of the sofa. The main body gets in the way after that, so you can't get to the back of the sofa, or at least I couldn't with mine. The container was big enough for doing my entire house, carpets upstairs, and mostly wood flooring downstairs. Hair crumbs, whatever was on the floor, carpet or wood, it was sucked up on first go, which was great. Having the ability to take the body off, the wheelbase is great and really helps when cleaning the stairs with the brush attachment. As for cleaning the cleaner itself, it's easy to get to all the filters in this, clean them, replace them if needed, and it will stay in tip top condition. Now, the biggest problem for me, there is no way to remove the brush to remove the hair that gets tangled in it. I live with my wife and two daughters. There is always a lot of hair tangled in any cleaner I use and it drives me mad. Previous cleaners I've had, I've been able to take the brush out and cut away the hair with scissors quite easily. There is no way of removing the brush here. You have to try and get the scissors between the plastic guards 
and pull the hair out, which isn't fun at all and actually quite frustrating. At £129 or even £169, this is an absolute bargain. It performs very well, cleaning everything you could think of. I like that it's got options for the type of flooring you have and a level of suction too although that maximum suction does make it harder to push and that may be a deal breaker for some people. It's easy to clean stairs, sofas, chairs. With the detachable main body, the LED lights are great at showing dirt and it's overall a very good cleaner. That's a wrap on this video. If you found it helpful in any way, please subscribe and give this a like. I will continue to use the cleaner on a weekly basis. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I will try and answer them for you.